With a inequality, you want to solve this like a normal trinomial. So you would open up your two brackets and you would say that x minus 4 and x plus 1. But then I said in the previous question that a very big mistake that students make is they try to do something like this. Okay, I know that that seems correct, but it's not. What you rather want to do is the following. You need to now draw a number line. And you need to ask yourself, if this was an equal sign, then what would your two answers have been? Well, you would have said x equals to 4 and x equals to negative 1. So you go put those numbers on your number line. Then what you do is you look at this graph, and you should know from grade 10 that that is a parabola. Remember, a parabola can be smiley face, or it can be sad face. Now, the way to know is to look at the number in front of the x squared. If it's positive, then it's happy, so it's smiling. Positive, happy, smiling. If it's negative, then it's sad, or um, upside down. So negative, sad, positive, happy. So we have a, a happy graph here. So we draw a happy graph. Now what we do is we look at this part over here, uh, this part, and it's telling us where is this graph negative or smaller than zero. Remember, smaller than zero means negative. So it means where is it underneath the x-axis? So underneath the x-axis is all of this over here. And so your answer is going to be from minus 1 up to 4. So you're going to say that x must be bigger than or equal to minus 1 or smaller than or equal to 4. Why am I saying bigger than and equal to and smaller than and equal to? That's just because that's what they gave us. If you prefer to do interval notation, then you would rather write it like this. You would say x is an element and then you'd use a square bracket from minus 1 up to 4 with another square bracket.